وكذلك أوحينا إليك روحا من أمرنا ما كنت تدري ما الكتاب ولا الإيمان ولكن جعلناه نورا ولكن جعلناه نورا نهدي به من نشاء من عبادنا وإنك لتهدي إلى صراط مستقيم صراط الله الذي له ما في السماوات وما في الأرض ألا إلى الله تصير الأمور Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and welcome to another episode of the program Muslims in America the religion of Islam is the fastest growing religion in the world and the majority of that growth is taking place right here in the United States of America according to most reliable estimates there are more than 7 million Muslims living in America Muslims have become valuable and vital assets to the American society so please join me as I travel around the USA and introduce you my viewers to a few of the many Muslims in America. Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to the program Muslims in America. Our travels have brought us to East Orange, New Jersey, which is about 20 minutes out of New York City, and I'm here with a group of the local businessmen here in the community because this area of New Jer Jersey, mashallah, there are a large number of Muslims living here, and likewise, there are a large number of Muslim business owners here. So I have a group of the brothers here. Assalamu alaikum. And welcome to the program, and thank you for agreeing to spend some time with us. What we'll do is just we'll go around, introduce yourself. Maybe if you'd like, tell us a bit about how you came to be here in America and establishing your business here. So. My name is Mohammed Khan, and I came to America in 1985 as a student visa, and I got my degree from Los Angeles, California, and I started working while I was going to the school. I was uh, delivering pizzas for Domino's Pizza, mm -hmm. and I liked the system so much, and I decided to be in the business, mm -hmm. in Domino's Pizza business, right. and I became a business owner in 1990. Mm -hmm. And it's been 17 years, and I grew up to 20 locations right now mm -hmm. in four different states, New Jersey, New York, uh, Pennsylvania, and Maryland. Mm -hmm. And uh, Let me ask you, are you able to hire a lot of Muslim employees? Yeah, that's right. We, what we do is we have a lot of Muslim workers. I have like uh, 300 people work under me. Mm -hmm. And we have a majority of Muslim working for us, mm -hmm. and uh, we are helping them as employment in mm -hmm. our business, yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, your family, you're raising a family here also? Yes, I have four kids, yes. Mm -hmm. What are some of the challenges of raising kids here in America? Well, kids, Muslim, children Muslim like kids, my kids sometimes uh, hear uh, like terrorist word a lot. Mm -hmm. And we have uh, made several complaints to our, our school system since they know my kids are the only one Muslim in their school. Mm -hmm. And uh, other ones are other, other different religions. And uh, they tease my kid sometimes. My older kid is like 14 years old right now. And uh, the biggest challenge is, uh, you know, he heard that word from his friends, terrorism. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, they call him terrorist. Okay. <laughs> and my name is uh, Ratib Masood. Uh, I came to this country in uh, 1985. Um, I actually worked in different uh, things. Uh, I did, uh, like, uh, work in the street. Uh, first of all, like, selling uh, stuff in the, uh, in the street to different people, to the local people in the areas. Then... Um, I worked in a couple of companies. Um, I started actually from the bottom, then I became a manager of a big department store. Uh, then I decided to do my own business. So uh, mm -hmm. me and my brothers actually, we, uh, I, when I came to this country, first of all, my father was here already, and he brought me in here on his papers. He had American citizen uh, over here. Mm -hmm. And uh, the same thing with my other brothers. And then we got together, we, um, me and my brothers, we uh, started a little business first as um, a gas station business. And then we moved on. We opened a few gas stations, uh, used car dealers, and then uh, we opened also a furniture store. That's where I am right now, and that's the store I'm running, mm -hmm. which is the furniture business in Orange, New Jersey, which is right next uh, door town to uh, East Orange. Mm -hmm. And um, that's uh, what we've been doing here. We come to this mosque over here. It's a beautiful mosque. The, when this mosque started, actually we started in a uh, one-family house mm -hmm. rental. Then after that, uh, uh, with the help of all the community, we... Um, 
uh, were able to buy the uh, the house and make it as the masjid. Mm -hmm. And then from that house, Alhamdulillah, um, we got this uh, masjid over here from the school to the, you know. Akhi, let me ask you a question. When you, when you first came to America and you encountered the indigenous Muslims, the Muslims who are from in America, well, I mean, what was your impression of them when you met them? I mean, you come from a Muslim country and you come to America and you find the Muslims here. What was your impression of the Muslims here in America? Um, actually, I was very proud. I came here to this country, uh, to this town, in 1987. Mm -hmm. And um, when I first came to the town, I did not see much Muslims. Mm -hmm. uh, the community was very, very small. Mm -hmm. It's not like the community right now. It was, mm -hmm. uh, it was so limited. And um, when I first started seeing a few Muslim brothers in the area, um, I liked to talk to them, and I liked to actually I approached a few of them, I asked them for their names, and um, we got to know each other and became friends. And um, I was very, actually, very, very proud, and um, to be honest with you, jealous, mm -hmm. because the way um, we grew up and we got lucky to be born as Muslims, alhamdulillah. Mm -hmm. uh, but the uh, brothers over here, they wasn't born Muslims. A lot of them, um, they became Muslims after the, um, like, uh, you know, uh, in, their, uh, in their adulthood. Mm -hmm. um, and the way they actually practice in Islam and the way um, they learn about Islam, sometimes we actually um, learn new things from them that we are born Muslims, we didn't know, but because they got into the religion much more deeper than we did. Mm -hmm. um, you know, that, that makes you actually much more proud of them and, and you know, you want to you wanna be one uh, a part of that community. My name is my name is Shafiq Masri. I'm from Syria. I come to this country in 1989. I start working like in a jewelry store mm -hmm. for Cal, you know, for quite a few. I mean, like in a few months, then I work hard as usual, like everybody, like everybody else came from overseas, mm -hmm. and then start like you know working as a manager in the store then I have my own business like in a few year, a few years later, later like about 1993 mm -hmm. and until today we've been working hard as usual like as they they say and what's your business jewelry jewelry I'm jewelry business mm -hmm. I have a jewelry store and you're able to employ Muslims I have like already you know my brother now you know with me working and I have another guy working I mean it's not like you know so much employee you can you know because it's like limited like in for a jewelry store like you know it's not like a factory or you know yeah. so it's very bad we, we do the best you know thank God for the facility here I mean you know mm -hmm. and helping out you know the Muslim community now your customers when they come in your shop do they realize that you're Muslim absolutely uh, maybe sometimes your customers might be curious about Islam and ask you questions about Islam what is some of the common questions that the people ask you about Islam? we always to try you know to you know to, you know to correct, you know, their their view about us, which is, you know, they have very, very wrong about, like, you know, understanding about, about the, you know, the whole the whole subject about Islam, actually, mm -hmm. because a lot of people, they don't, you know, they just like hear about Muslim as terrorists, like as usual. I mean, you know, we try to correct it, like, you know, in, in, in a nice way, and the way how it's actually, you know, been, you know. Uh, Actually, being like as a Muslim and as like a straining, I mean, like not like you know how they, you know, the their mentality being set up like or when uh, brainwashed from the media here, you know, you know they, mm -hmm. they like they have like you know the wrong view about like the Muslims. So we try to correct it like you know nicely and then you know understand it so you can they can understand it better. Okay, sure. Uh, my name is Mohammed Bader. I came from Egypt and I came as a student visa. Uh, I stayed since 1979. And uh, I have a family, and I get into different business, and finally now I'm in a limo business, a limousine, and uh, in this business uh, probably uh, most of the uh, who owns the uh, the transportation business is uh, Muslim uh, brothers, and uh, I think we have been doing a good service all over the tri-state area, and it's not only in this area, and. Uh, I think uh, we love this country and we like to be like anybody else and we like, like our brother, he said, we try to correct the information or the idea about the Muslim people because a lot of people, they have wrong ideas from the media or from other sources. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, I have four kids and they all was born here and uh, the, uh, some of them in college, some of them in the regular school, and uh, everything I think is getting better, you know.
Moshe, it's really nice to meet you, and it's nice to meet all of you. Thank you. And it's nice to see you here in this masjid with people who are not from Egypt, people who are not from Syria. Do you think it's important for the Muslims to come closer together that they have to realize that we're all Muslims and it doesn't absolutely. matter? Absolutely. You shouldn't go to a masjid just because the people there are from Egypt or from Syria? Or from no, absolutely. As a matter of fact, what we see here in this, particularly in this masjid, you know, from all over, you know, from the area, from America, from Syria, from all over sea, uh, overseas, from everywhere, mm -hmm. and we, we make no difference. As a Muslim brother, a Muslim brother is a Muslim brother. Mm -hmm. It just we mention, you know, where we came from or something, but this is, doesn't mean that there is any uh, 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 prefer, you know, mm -hmm. because we say that no. But we all Muslim brothers, and I think we have a, a very good uh, relation between each other. Especially in the occasions, you know, like uh, uh, in the holiday, our holidays, like feast, mm -hmm. and uh, in uh, the month of Ramadan, and uh, uh, it's a good, good, you know, uh, a relation between all the Muslim people. It doesn't matter where they came from. Let me, let me just add uh, to the uh, brother. Mm -hmm. um, Actually, I, I'm from Palestine, the mm -hmm. brother from Egypt, and the brother from Syria. I knew this brother before because he was my neighbor in the business. Mm -hmm. um, the brother over here, I didn't know him until I came to this, to this masjid, alhamdulillah. Mm -hmm. And I met him one time, we shook uh, the hands, we actually prayed together. And it's from since that day, every Friday, uh, every Jum'ah, we come here and uh, we be looking for each other to, uh, gr you know, to greet each other and uh, say taqabbalullah and, uh, you know, have a little uh, chit-chat with each other. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, you get to know other people from other countries in this masjid, um, from... Uh, the same thing you get to know people from this country over here and, and in this masjid alhamdulillah you don't see no difference between nobody everybody here come together from all over the world like he said from the Middle East from all the countries in the Middle East uh, Jordan Palestine Pakistan uh, I think the brother from Pakistan from Kashmir from Kashmir uh, from Egypt Syria and um, you know other countries also and um, we all get together and you know we always greet each other and we all happy to see each other and happy to be here um, and and you know to see this progress over here mm -hmm. it's it's uh, you know it's uh, something that uh, it's an impressive and um, it's something for all us to be a proud of well like, like and, in America um, go ahead, I'm, sorry. I'm sorry and you know we hope actually from this program uh, to send a message um, you know the uh, mosques or the messages in America um, the, they live on the support of the people who comes to the messages mm -hmm. and um, unfortunately some of the messages struggle because the people who go to certain messages they don't have enough financials to support these messages mm -hmm. uh, you know messages in, in the United States of America they have a lot of expense on them and for us to keep Islam growing because mm -hmm. it's the most growing religion right now in the country of the United States yeah. um, to keep Islam growing in this country and to um, to make it more powerful mm -hmm. uh, I think the Muslim countries also they should have um, something to do with it they should have a little financial support to these messages mm -hmm. over here for these messages to keep going and to get more powerful mm -hmm. and to be able to uh, send the message of Islam and make the picture of Islam to this world over here mm -hmm. uh, make it a better picture and uh, inshallah we'll have more Muslim, more people become Muslims because sure. that's a risala for every Muslims to do mm -hmm. and it's a responsibility on all Muslims Muslims here and Muslims outside the country mm -hmm. you know we need the help from everywhere especially you know like we see here this masjid we say we have a school here from daycare to a uh, high school and we got a lot of kids that every year uh, they get um, you know um, uh, what you call it um, you know they get uh, uh, to go to colleges and mm -hmm. uh, they get the best degrees over here mm -hmm. um, and they get the financial support also actually from the United States of America mm -hmm. um, and you know uh, it's, um, it's a pleasure to be here uh, United States of America, I mean, we, we got, we, we're free to practice our religion here. Mm -hmm. um, yes, maybe we have a little, uh, some other, like the brother said, there's some people who actually, um, you can't blame them because what they see in the media, the idea they have about Islam, from what they see, um, that's why they reflect on his children or on other Muslims on the street or in the market, whatever. But for us to clear that idea, we have to all work together and send a message to these people and let the American people know that we are good people, we mean well, and we're here to stay with them and to live with them, and um, we're not here to harm nobody. And Islam is not a, harm, a harmful religion. Islam is a peace religion. Yeah. And, um, uh, you know, uh, let's just live all in peace. Sure. <laughs>
No, I just want to just so I was going to add to brother's uh, comments about networking, like he mentioned mm -hmm. in, in Friday the network. I mean, life in in this country, especially, is so busy. Uh, everybody, you know, most of the guy, our Muslim brothers are immigrants, mm -hmm. and they are, you know, trying to settle down in this country. Mm -hmm. And what they are, you know, they're very busy with the, you know, feeding their family and stuff. And Friday and this much is the best place to network with other brothers, mm -hmm. you know, bound together and talk to them. And this is the only time, you know. Sure. So sure. I just wanted to add that. Okay. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Wa alaikum wa salam. My name is Muhammad Ahmad Al Ugandi. Uh, I came to this country about 10 years ago. Started working uh, some low paying jobs until I realized that it was very hard for me and uh, my family to live by this thing when you're really being employed. So that's why I decided to start my own business. Mm -hmm. I started working out of the trunk of my car in a small car. That's about seven, eight years ago. But now, I have a couple of vans. I'm in the cleaning business, mm -hmm. more, more responsible for cleaning carpets mm -hmm. and furniture. Alhamdulillah, we started out, it's a family-owned business, so mm -hmm. most of the employees or most of the guys who work with us are Muslims, Alhamdulillah. Mm -hmm. Right now, we're servicing uh, in about three, four states, mm -hmm. New Jersey, Maryland, Virginia, and D.C., Alhamdulillah. Being in this business and having your first name as Muhammad, mm -hmm. That being your name, being called Allah, Alhamdulillah, we get a chance to introduce ourselves to the non-Muslims and show them how, how good the other side of Islam they, they, they always miss. They always interpret anything, Muhammad being terrorism and all that stuff, but sometimes you tell them that you're Muhammad, they don't know that you're Muslim. Once they see the kind of work you are doing, they have to ask you again, are you really Muslim? Yes. Now we introduce ourselves as Muslims and show them the other side of Islam, which they never know about. So. We get a chance, alhamdulillah, in this kind of job to practice our Islam. I mean, going to making our salah as, as often, I mean, in Jama as we can. Mm -hmm. Also, propagating Islam by doing some nice work, being very rational, being very uh, realistic to the people. That way, they get a chance to know that, oh, there are some Muslims who are good. Oh, Islam is not as bad as we thought. Mm -hmm. Oh, not all, not, not Muslims are, not every. Arabs or people from Middle East are the only Muslims. Or not in, even in Africa, we have Muslims. As sometimes people think that Africa could be a, a Christian country or a Christian, a Christian continent. Mm -hmm. We get a chance to introduce to them and tell them that we have Muslims there. And well, let me Islam ask you, how does, the, how does the practice of Islam you found here in America compare to the practice of Islam in your home country? Alhamdulillah, my home country we have a blessing, it's just as America, alhamdulillah. Mm -hmm. But I've been blessed to travel a big portion of the world, alhamdulillah. Mm -hmm. I've never found, alhamdulillah, any country practicing Islam as I found it in America. Mm -hmm. Every time I go back home, I tell people that we have people on the Sunnah, they will always be surprised. Mm -hmm. And it's, first, it, it's a funny thing, when I first came here, that's the first question the brothers asked me, that do you have people on the Sunnah? So everybody was surprised. Mm -hmm. As where I come from, Alhamdulillah, is pretty much like America. We have a lot of people on the Sunnah, especially the youth, mm -hmm. and the same thing in America. Also on the other side is a, a blessing that we in America here, people, when you go back home and ask, tell them about America, they would never think that you'd be a Muslim or there's any, any Muslim. So we get a chance to tell them that we have Islam in America. Not only do we have Islam, but it's the Islam we have in America is way better than the Islam we have here. Mm -hmm. We may just call ourselves Muslims because we're born Muslims, but back home, people who are in America who are Muslims, every time you find a Muslim wearing as Islam should be, 95% of the chances he's an American mm -hmm. Muslim. So it's always a, a big, there is always a big story to tell. People come from all over when I go back home just to make sure I'm still on the deen I was on. I just tell them that, oh, subhanAllah, my deen just got better when I got there. So it's a blessing when you come to America and know that people try to stay on the deen and we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to strengthen Islam in our souls and in the entire U.S. Okay. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, my name is Sadiq Abdullah. Um, I, I actually, I'm from America, mm -hmm. born and raised here. Um, I uh, own a real estate business in East Orange. Mm -hmm. Been in real estate business with my family for 15 years now. Mm -hmm. uh, my family's always owned real estate businesses. Mm -hmm. uh, my wife and I, we run our own uh, real estate company in East Orange. Mm -hmm. uh, Sadiq, tell us a bit about how you became Muslim. Uh, interesting story. Uh, 
similar to a lot of the other stories you hear from a lot of African Americans. Uh, I was in college, kind of confused, you know, know that, knew that I needed something, uh, some sort of structure in my life. And I met one of the brothers, actually, a local uh, brother local to here. He started talking to me about Islam and gave me some books, and I started reading and. And I started realizing that this is the truth that I've been looking for all my life. And uh, from there, I went to the masjid with them and accepted Islam mm -hmm. uh, with and the so brothers how long there. Have you been Muslim now? Uh, since uh, 1990, so 16 years, I guess. Okay. Assalamu alaikum. My name is uh, Ehsan al Haq. Mm -hmm. And uh, when we had a mosque, small mosque in, the, in East Orange, uh, we started there. I used to go to mosque. I used to live in Prospect uh, mm -hmm. Street. Mm -hmm. And I used to stand there and always when Juma finished, we used to have like maybe one row or less than one row for the uh, people come for the prayers. Mm -hmm. And there was one sister used to sit in the backyard with two or three little children. And my wish was, Oh Allah, will you make this masjid big? Mm -hmm. and um, nice, you know, bigger. So when I see this and then we came here, then we used to go to Orange mm -hmm. and my son went to that school mm -hmm. and then came here. So it just make me so overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. And uh, it is just uh, undescribable. Like sometimes I see that Allah accepted my dad prayer, mm -hmm. that it did happen what I wanted to see it. Mm -hmm. Now come to the finances and we contributed here as much we can, mm -hmm. but I will request that the Muslim countries, when they have funds, mm -hmm. like this high school here, they can, you know, financial or scholarship or some kind of shape and form. Mm -hmm. If this country can do it to the other countries, the other country can contribute the same way here. Mm -hmm. So that is just my request. Right. But and let me ask you, as, as being around and watching this masjid grow, watching Islam grow in general. What do you think is the future outlook for Islam in America? Uh, the future was like after 9-11, it looked like a lot of extremists in the media, especially Fox Channel mm -hmm. and some others, they did a lot of damage in the beginning. Mm -hmm. But it's always, there is, uh, I look at it like either you look the glass half full mm -hmm. or half empty. Mm -hmm. So it's always good you see it half full. Mm -hmm. So this 9-11, what it bring the destruction and negative, the, all the extremists in the right wing, they got together and started to propagate against Islam. But the Allah has something else mm -hmm. in there, which I see it more and more people started to read the books on Islam. Mm -hmm. And more curiosity, and there is more people now interested in learning Islam than it was ever before. Mm -hmm. which I saw that it is the positive outcome mm -hmm. came. Mm -hmm. Now, our job is now, like when you're at work, I used to work, I was manager in Eckerd's and Genovese and CVS as a manager. And people used to see me go for the prayer and nobody ever, this is the blessing, go to this country, regardless they're Muslim or non-Muslim. I haven't seen anyone working with this big corporation that told me I cannot go for prayer. Mm -hmm. You know, and that, when they say give the credit, when credit is due. Mm -hmm. And that credit goes to this country that people have very mm -hmm. big heart mm -hmm. and mind. Mm -hmm. And we have to do it like counter those negative propaganda, which is the media. Mm -hmm. So which we can do it, other Muslim countries can do it and mellow it down. Mm -hmm. And that's what... Uh, but now this is a question for everybody, and not for everybody, the brothers who came to, came to America from other countries. If somebody from your country were to ask you, what is Islam like in America, what could you tell them briefly? It's, it's based on the real 100% like Islamic way, but you know, the, the Quran and the Sunnah. Mm -hmm. That's, you know, which is like, you know, very, very good. I mean, you know, the way how they grow, it wouldn't grow in fast as you, you know, you, you think, you imagine. Mm -hmm. Uh, we hope, like, you know, we can tell them everybody shall be the same way, how it's like, you know, overseas, which is like, you know, is the base over there in the Middle East, which is like the base of the Quran, actually, I mean, I mean you know, the mm -hmm. Islamic, you know, we shall be the, the same, the, the way how growing here, shall be over there the same thing. Okay.
I think Islam in the uh, United States is really uh, much better than I thought when I came to this country, which is a long time ago, and with very few uh, masjid, which is mosques around, and now, uh, alhamdulillah, a lot of mosques around, and a lot of good people, and they practice really uh, the good way, and they show the real Islam, and uh, uh, it has been really good time, you know, many years here, and we see the Islam here is really growing, and in the right way, and uh, that's much better than anybody thought about it before and whenever we go back home we have to tell them the way we lived here and we practiced the right way and alhamdulillah okay just let me assalamu alaikum alhamdulillah talking about islam in america as we always told officially islam is the fastest growing religion in america probably the entire world one of my co-workers who is over 40 years old he just called me like two days ago and told me that his father was taking shahada. And this is something that's happening left and right. All ages of people, black or white, are taking shahada. Now his father is over 70 years old, he's taking shahada, which happens that his remaining kids will be taking shahada. So there is a big chance, there is a, it's very promising as far as growing. Surely Islam is growing in America, alhamdulillah. Also, the kind of Islam that's growing is a little bit different from the Islam which is found elsewhere. It's kind of clean, there is no beta in the Islam we practice here. Uh, that's one very important thing that we should note about Islam in the entire world. Islam in America has very, very little beta that we can talk of. Uh, last but not least about Islam in America is the freedom we the Muslims are given, or all religions are given in America. We really have, they are very, very, it's very rare to find anybody in America, wherever they work. We all work with non-Muslims, but it's very impossible. It's impossible that you cannot make your prayers. If you have to make your prayers, you have the right to make your prayers. You have the right to get up for your holidays, which is different from our countries where we come from, Muslim countries or non-Muslim countries. We don't have that kind of right in our workplaces, in our residence, to practice Islam. You could be the only child in school if she's a girl putting on hijab and that's okay, mm -hmm. which may not be the case in the entire world. So I would ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to enlighten the people of other countries to show them that uh, I know in some Muslim countries they don't accept people to wear uh, Islamic thawb like the boys putting on the thawb going to classes, the sisters putting on their niqab. I would ask uh, our Muslim brothers and sisters in the other parts of the world to let the people practice Islam like it is done here. Unfortunately, to their amazement, we practice, we have more freedom to practice Islam in America than we have more freedom to practice Islam in other countries which have less business in stopping us from practicing Islam, inshallah. I hope that our viewers were able to gain some insight of what life is like for Muslims in America from Muslims who have come to America from other countries. And I invite you, my viewers, to continue with me as I travel around this country and introduce you to the Muslims in America. Assalamu alaikum.